What's going on everybody, King of Dragons 5000 here coming at you with another figure review. Today we'll be having a look at the Mattel WWE Battle Pack Series 64, Lita and Trish Stratus. And so here we have Trish and Lita posing out of the packaging. Before we take a look at the figures, let's actually take a look at what they come with. Trish and Lita unfortunately only come with one accessory and that is a folding chair and it does have WWE Evolutions logo on the seat of it and it does look good and it is a folding chair so I do like that. Unfortunately neither of them have grip hands so they can't really hold the chair. A little bit unfortunate I would have liked to see some grip hands so they could actually hold their accessory but it's still a really nice chair so with that out of the way let's actually have a better look at Trish and Lita. And first we'll have a look at Trish Stratus and I have to say Mattel has done an amazing job with this Trish figure now. I don't know if this is the very first Trish head sculpt that we've ever gotten just with the uh, real effects printing technology, but it looks really, really good. If it's the same mold from the original Trish Stratus figure, that's an incredible likeness that just a little bit of photo reel just made it look so much more like Trish. We'll actually have a comparison when we have, do our comparison shots, but that is a really beautiful face sculpt for a Trish. I really do like it. Another thing I do appreciate is the fact they actually put the fade in her hair. We do have it from brown going into blonde, which that's pretty much how Trish is right now. And I do like that little detail. Something that Mattel didn't really have to do, but that fade is just really gorgeous. I love the way it transitions from brown into blonde. And as you can see, it they did a really good job with that. So kudos to Mattel for that really awesome fade and this beautiful Trish Stratus head sculpt. Having a look at her torso, it is a little bit plain because none of the details are sculpted on. If this was an elite figure, I would hope that they would have sculpted some of these details on, but it does look really nice. The gold is pretty crisp and clean for the most part, especially going around the skin tone. On the back, we do have the Trish Stratus logo, which does say Stratus Faction is guaranteed. I know that's technically a T, but I work with what they give me. On her left arm, we do have the fishnet stocking that she did wear. Now, unfortunately, the way they painted this, it's, I don't know, it's not the best that they've ever done. Because as you can see right here on her elbow, they left that bare. That should continue the fishnet pattern going all the way up so that it's one uniform piece. Can't do anything about that, but I do like the fact that they did paint her gold wristbands. On both sides so that is a really nice look and I really do like the fishnets right here on her torso uh, they did a really good job just representing that and again the gold is nicely painted for the most part taking a look at her legs now there is some tone difference from her torso to her lower torso to her thighs only because her upper torso is molded in flesh tone where her lower torso and thighs are cast in black plastic so the flesh tone here doesn't quite match this flesh tone but I guess you can say that the it's a finer fish netting so that's why it does it. it that's not really the case but that's an excuse you can use on the figure you can see they did give her knee pads which those do move around they don't hinder articulation at all because this is a basic figure so we only get a single bend in the knee she is wearing kick pads and as you can see it does have the Trish logo right here. Reverse on this side. On the inside it is proper as you can see. So really good attention to detail there. Unfortunately there's not much more to say about Trish and that's sad to say because I really do like the way this figure came out. I just wish some of the details were sculpted on but that's the way Mattel does it with the uh, women figures. So with Trish out of the way, let's actually move on to Lita. And so here we have a closer look at Lita. Now, Mattel has once again done an amazing job with this face sculpt. I'm pretty sure this is a completely new Lita head sculpt. Uh, I don't think we've ever seen this before, but they did a really good job. It does capture Lita's likeness, especially modern day Lita. It's not a younger Lita. Having a look at her 
hair let's have a look at her hair before we go on to any of her other details i really do like the way the hair came out i just wish it had that same attention to detail that trish's hair did you know just throw a little bit of wash on there which it might actually have some wash in there hmm maybe a darker wash just to bring out some of those details but that's a really gorgeous face for lita this is a really well done battle pack and that's saying a lot seeing as how mattel normally phones it in on basic figures Really like the attention to detail here, although I do have some issues with it. Not at all with the head sculpts. It's all just details that should be sculpted on that they don't sculpt. Oh, and that really bothers me. But let's have a look at her torso. Now, you can see she's wearing a shirt. And that's not the way it was supposed to be. Lita was not wearing a t-shirt at all. I am like 95 percent sure that this is the ronda rousey body and i can probably find that figure in storage really slacking at mattel that you can see the collar and i know most of the time it's going to be hidden by her hair but you can still see faint remnants of the collar going around the neck that is really sloppy and i don't like that N not one bit but yeah, I'm like 98% sure at this point that this is a reuse of the Ronda Rousey body. Wish Mattel would dedicate some unique sculpts to every female figure because I think that would bring so much more into the line. Having a look at her right arm, you can see she does have her tattoo hidden underneath all this fishnet. Now, on the Elite version, it's normally colored, but most of the color was used on her left arm, which we'll get into that in a little bit. She does have a fishnet stocking on her right arm, where Trish had it on her left, and then she also has gold bracers. Having a look at this arm, this is the arm that they threw all the color on. I love those candy skull tattoos. They look amazing, and they did a really good job capturing it, especially this one right here. I think that's probably my favorite one right there. But just the little candy skull tattoos, they look so nice. I, just the amount of detail they went into her sleeve right here. That is gorgeous amount of detail. Like even right here, the Lucha Libre tattoo right there. More masks from Luchador. So that's really good detail. I love the way they did this. And this is one instance where I'm kind of glad that she doesn't have a bicep swivel because all this is nicely clean. And you can see, unfortunately, it does break up right here at her elbow. But that's pretty much how articulation works. Really do like the idea that they went with with the fishnet stockings here. Now, unlike Trish, Lita's is a uh, black painted flesh tone. Now, I don't have too much of a problem with that because the flesh tone almost matches... And right here you can argue that it is fishnet. Although her attire isn't 100% complete. Uh, the, the back part of her ring gear should actually form more of like a thong. But unfortunately I know that this is intended to be sold to children. And they can't really add it. So I guess I can let it slide. And continuing on the Ronda Rousey reuse. Complete reuse from the waist down. This is... 100% the Ronda Rousey body that they have used from the waist down but like the detail that they put in it you can see the Lita logo right here done in gold same on this leg the line work is nice and clean and then we do have her ring boots which do look good I really do like that they actually sculpted it and I still think that that's Ronda Rousey's shoes so Interesting that they went with the Ronda Rousey body, and I do like it because it, it's pretty much what Lita was wearing. I just wish that they put a little more care into her torso here. But other than that, still a solid figure. So what we're going to do now is compare Trish and Lita to other figures you may have in your collection. And so here we have Trish and Lita posed next to an elite Brock Lesnar and a basic Jeff Hardy. And finally, here we have Trish and Lita pose next to the original Elite Trish Stratus figure and the Elite Royal Rumble Lita. So with the comparisons out of the way, let's actually have a look at their articulation. And we'll have a look at Lita's because her articulation functions just a little bit better than Trish's. And that's just because I use the Ronda Rousey body. Now, they both do have ball joints in the head, but because of the way their hair hangs down, we don't get any up and... Well, we do get up and down movement, but... It doesn't stay. The hair always pushes it back to neutral position. 
Uh, we get very slight head tilt, it is there, but again, hair will get in the way. Does turn left and right, no problem. Hair does get in the way, but that's to be expected on any figure with long hair. Arms do go out to the side all the way. They do a full 360. She, they both bend at the elbow as well as swivel. They both have a swivel in the wrist. No hinges, unfortunately. We get a waist swivel. No upper torso cu cuts, which I really wish that they would go back to putting the cuts on female figures. Legs do kick out that far. On Trish, they would only kick out to about that far, but Lita does have better range going out. Right, going forward, going back, it's about the same. Going out, where Trisha's hip articulation goes out to about that much. Lita's goes out to about that much, so there is that. Both of them do have single bend in the knee, giving us just a little bit less than 90 degrees. And then both of them do have boot cut swivel. Lita's is lower because she does have the sneaker, where Trisha's is higher because she has a kick pad. Other than that, they don't have any more articulation, which is a shame because these are gorgeous figures, and I really hope Mattel does make these two particular ring gears into elites at some point. So, with that out of the way, guys, let's actually wrap up this review with my final thoughts. And so here we have Trish and Lita pose for my final thoughts, and overall, this is a really well done set. I originally wasn't going to pick this set up, but I was just cruising down Walmart, picking up some essentials, and then I just walked in the toy aisle, saw it, and I'm like, you know what, I'll give this set a like, or I'll give this set a look at. If I like it, I like it. If not, I can always resell it, and you know what? I'm actually liking this set much more than I thought. Yeah, they are using the standard basic body bulks, but... That's something I can overlook seeing as how much detail and care went into, into both of these figures. Now, if I was head of Mattel, I would actually have made these elite figures. Maybe do like a ringside elite two pack or just done something to make the, these two particular ring gears elite because I think they're worthy of an elite release. So that's honestly my opinion. If you are looking for a Trish and Lita battle pack, they are available at Walmart and Target at the time I'm making this video. So if you are looking for them, you can find them at either Walmart or Target and they will run you about $20, which is standard for a basic, for two basic figures. So 10 plus 10, that equals 20, plus you get one accessory. So that's something. With that being said, guys, I'm King of Dragons 5000. Don't forget to like this video, leave a comment, subscribe to my channel, go ahead and check out all my other action figure reviews as well as all my other WWE videos. Hopefully you find them informative. As always, if there's a figure you would like to see me review, let me know down in the comments and if it's in my collection, I'll definitely have a look at it. While you're at it, don't forget to check out my Instagram account for new and exciting action figure photos. And as always, ring that bell to be notified every time I upload a video. Until next time, guys, I'll see you later. Take care, everyone.